Hey Manjanas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm on Madden 21 Next Gen and I'm going to see how terrible of a career I can have. So hopping right into this, we went into the face of the franchise mode, which is pretty much the equivalent of my career in 2K. I started off by naming my player Helen Keller, which aligns with my playstyle on the gridiron. As you can see here, my favorite video game number was taken, so I had to go with my favorite in real life number, number 30, after Deontay Burton. While building my character, I thought I should just make him as ugly as possible since Madden makes that pretty easy to do. Skin tone, we're going to make that Casper looking. Now there's a bunch of great heads here, such as Angry Man Face. Stung by a bee, dazed and confused, fraternity member, but we're gonna start with head number three. I just kinda like the look of that goofy face. For starters, we're gonna make him a ginger, just because. Gingers have souls! And we're gonna give him the douchiest hairstyle being Afro Mohawk. Thought I'd give him some facial hair, as in handlebars. Gonna blonde that out. And his best feature, his baby blues. Try not to get lost in those beautiful eyes. Then when it came to the advanced edits, I thought I'd just make him again as ugly as possible. I gave him some real squinty eyes as he is deaf and blind. His eyebrows can't really get too bad, but I gave him an S shape. Again, we're gonna blonde those out. Gave him a big ol' hook sniffer. This guy could pretty much be a police dog. When it came to ear shape, I thought I'd just make him one of Santa's little helpers. Gave him some beautiful cheekbones though, that's probably gonna get him a few ladies. And of course, to finish out this ginger, I gave him some nice freckles. <sighs> Found the perfect lips to fit this beautiful face. He's going to constantly be sniffing his own mustache at this point. Jaw prominence, he's looking like sexy Squidward. But after this makeover, Helen Kelly looks pretty good and we're ready to get on to the NFL. I got the option to name my school here, so we're going to go with the school for the deaf, blind, and or transgenders. Dot 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 69. Actually, RAR XD 69. For my city, I thought I'd be representing West Hollywood. And for state, I just thought I would stick with the theme of West Hollywood and put us in California. And then one last thing, I get to name my school mascot and we're gonna go with the Intimidating Turtles. Ah oh, yes, he's looking beautiful. This is like sometime in the future. Still has the same douchey haircut, handlebars. Probably retired, but joined the police force as a part-time bloodhound. In front of our school for the Deaf Bee Academy. Good enough. I went with the weirder of the three voices. Ah, uh, cat, dog, penguin. Here I am with the interviewer and I give him a black eye handshake. A few minutes into it and Karen attempts murder on my player here. I go into a cutscene with my high school coach who has a real inappropriate interaction with me. Got those fancy words from this sexy French girl I met recently. I meet the rival quarterback of my team, looks like one of Trevor's boys in the meth lab. I get into some drills here, I can't fail them just yet, I have to complete all of these so I do just that. Of course the ginger here says he's like Lamar Jackson, which gives me a mobile boost, which works out well for me because I do not intend on throwing the ball ever. When asked to describe my personality, I thought I'd go with entertainer as that seems like the worst of the four options. First game here, we're down at halftime and Tommy tells me about his congenital heart defect, but I decided to support Tommy to hopefully see him die in the football field. Start of the fourth quarter here and I have to be subbed in as as we are down 0-13. to 13. When told to go into the game, I hesitated. Just seems like the better thing to do here. Pedophile coach here doesn't seem to believe in me. That's another good sign. I get my first play in the field here, and you can pretty much see how this is about to go. I get sacked. A few plays later, and we turn it over. After fourth down, 0-19 to 19 here at this point, and again, I'm just getting sacked. Just getting laid out. Hopefully, I can get a serious career-ending injury here. Put some points up on the board for the other team. Got laid out here by big boy. Started bullying me on the field. But after a 0-28 to 28 loss, this beautiful black man liked my play on the field and told me he's looking forward to getting me on his website. Sounds a little bit inappropriate, but I'll make sure to send some sexy photos in. Later on, somehow we made it to the California Championship game where I'm starting, which was a terrible idea because I am not going to throw that ball. Early on, I put some points up on the board for the Hogs with the safety or two. Again here, I'm just getting abused on the field, but in my defense, I can neither hear or see. Probably not the good idea to put me on the field. And at this point in the game, I just had some fun running around the defense, as I am the deaf, blind, and or transgender version of Lamar Jackson. But eventually, they took me down in the end zone, and we lost this game 72-0. Later next year, Tommy's good to go again, and I offer up my position to hopefully not have to play at all. But I'm forced into playing QB, so we're going to see how that goes. Here I meet Snoop Dogg, and I have one of the whitest cutscenes of all time. Good luck. For shizzle. <laughs> La -de -da -de -da. Big game here, we're down 33-0. As you can see what I've been doing all game long, just getting beat up in the end zone. I can pretty much just shut off the first tackle if I'm standing still, but once I have three on me, it's kind of a no-brainer, I'm going down. I have a little fun here and I decide to run with it, but still I end up getting a safety, making the score 48-0 at the end of this big game. A few dull cutscenes later, and I chose Nebraska as my college, and so did Tommy because he's a douchebag. And I chose Nebraska because currently they have the worst record of all the teams you could choose. First year here, and you can see how this is going in the sim 
semifinals, I made sure my team was down big at the half, down 56-0. After trying to put up some Helen Keller gang signs to the refs, which they misunderstood. And then somehow we ended up winning 59 to 56 and we are going to the championship game. Championship game here, Tommy was starting and he got taken out at the half after having a heart problem. Our soulless coach could not care less, just kind of stares at him hoping he dies. So they put me in in the game in the second half. We're down six to three, so I put some points up on the board immediately by getting a safety and maybe a few more. I will say my offensive line is pretty damn good here. They did just abuse one of the Texas players and just made sure he stayed on the ground and kind of a gangbang style of blocking. I ran the clock out of the game and eventually they just kicked me out of it and we ended up losing 29 to 3 which Helen Keller ended up celebrating because he can't see the score and he can't hear what's going on either. Big ol' 78 wasn't too happy about it though. I visited Tommy's bitch ass in the hospital, kinda upset at him by bringing this cardboard and duct tape second place trophy. He asked me if I could win a championship for him next year and I deflected that because I do not intend on doing so. Wasn't too happy about that. Take this stupid thing. <laughs> Jerry Sandusky here came back to my dorm after a quick shower and told me that Tommy was going to be the starting quarterback next year, and he recommends that I either go to the draft or play another year at a different position. Of course, I agree to switch positions to keep the heartbreak kids alive and lower my draft stock. When asked what position I'd be between runner back and wide receiver, I chose running back as I have putting all of my attributes into my speed up until this point. However, I never actually saw a single play at running back in my whole senior year of football year at Nebraska, but I did make sure that we sucked, very much so. And I made sure Mr. Tommy Matthews here got his fair share of ass whooping as well. After a wasted hour of my life and a wasted year in video game time, I declared for the NFL draft, which I said I would switch back to QB. I was given the option to choose a favorite team to play for, and I did. I, I chose my personal favorite team, the Chicago Bears, as they have a history of drafting terrible QBs and doing nothing with them until they retire. Here I am at the NFL Combine, which I did absolutely nothing. Helen Keller here did not hear the whistle to start running. Couldn't see his first step or two here. Looking like I shit my pants mid-run here, and I ended up with a 5.05 40-yard dash. Drill time here. I got 10 opportunities to make some throws in which I did nothing but run out of bounds, not throw the ball, and launch one into the crowd. Nonetheless, I was still drafted by the Chicago Bears. Real shocker right there. My agent Claudia told me I would end up on the practice squad for a year most likely, to which I maturely replied in what a bummer. After a terrible practice, my coach called me in and told me, listen kid, you're trying to do too much out there, slow it down a bit, take it one play at a time, and you'll see your hard work pay off. To which I replied that I should be starting. That's a joke, right? Kid, you have no room to be making requests or demands, so you better just focus on making the team. A good thing to hear. Already down 0-38 to 38 here, but you can see I'm just doing more of my play style, just getting safeties and getting danced on in the end zone. We finished our first NFL preseason game, 0-62. to 62. Good start to our NFL career. Here we are matched up against the Cleveland Browns, and Miles Garrett abused me in the end zone. Really threw me down on this play. Brought out the helmet on me. Just tackled. Oh, was... God! Here I am in my second game of the season, getting chased down by three Pittsburgh Steelers players for another safety, putting us down 0-32. to And at the end of this game, I finish it off with another safety, putting the Bears down 0-54. to I don't know why they continue to play me. And here's this cuck here talking about me reading off a script, telling me I was historically awful. Another good thing to hear. Later on, I was cut from the Bears, a good move by them, and the New York Jets picked me up. I bought into the Jets style of play very early on as I went for a demolishing loss our first game out against the Broncos once more, in which we ended up losing 71-0. Storyline goes that I have an injury here and I thought I would just take it easy to sit out and play less football, as that is my end goal here. Later on though, I played against my rivals the New York Giants, which did not go very well for me. However, I was pretty good at breaking off tackles at this point, as it does take about two or three defensive linemen to take down a deaf, blind, and or transgender man thing. At this point, I was just trying to get an interception, but the game was taking it so easy on me it seemed to be impossible possible. At this point in my career, one of the reporters was pretty much calling me out on being dog shit, in which I just walked away. Probably one of the highlights of my career, and it also rewarded me for doing so. Again here, I'm in another NFL game where I'm doing absolutely nothing besides drawing safeties for my team, and just getting beat up in the end zone. It's not my fault I can't hear or see and I'm in the NFL. I will say though, the Jets offensive line was probably the best one I played with throughout my whole NFL career, but nonetheless, I stepped my game up and I drew a ton of safeties for my team. In this game, we actually lost 0-69, so that was pretty cool. My coach here for the Jets told me that I was going to be cut from the team, in which I pled my case just to be annoying, but he did not care. At this point in my interview, I had the option to retire or take a chance. 
I thought I'd give it one more go, so I took a chance with a random signing. I was signed to the Houston Texans as they obviously needed me and they don't have anybody named Deshaun Watson on that team in his prime now. But nonetheless, I did more of the same, just ruining my career and stat padding for the opposing defensive line. The Jacksonville Jaguars ended up beating me 60-0. Pretty good start to my season. But after the season, I was given the option to ask for a release for my teams. I asked for a release because I am deaf and blind and I've been trying to leave the NFL for years, but I just keep getting tackled by things that I can't see coming at me. I wasn't given the option to retire here, but I was wanting to, so I had to take a chance again. I was signed to the Minnesota Vikings, and I planned to do nothing for this team. At this point, they tried giving me a storyline that I'm going up against my rival, the Green Bay Packers. But as you and I know, I'm not about to step up my game here at the end of my career. So I just took some more safeties and sacks from the opposing D-line. We ended up losing our first match. 67-0. Peter Griffin here was unhappy with my gameplay and had to throw down his clipboard in slow motion. Probably gonna have a bruised butthole after this game. Second game here with the Vikings and I matched up against the Arizona Cardinals. I gave ourselves an early deficit in the first half, 3-29. Got beat up more later in the game. Almost got paralyzed on this play and we ended up losing 3-60. Helen Keller really soaking up the spotlight here. Now here we are in the last NFL game of my career. At this point, six hours in of recording this video, I was getting pretty bored, so I was just playing at the key moments. So it's a close game here, 27 to 28 with Minnesota leading. So I thought I'd do something about that. One play into my game and I put us behind with a safety. Dallas went on to score. I had the chance to really put us back in this game, but I just said screw it and ran all the way to the back of the end zone. The Asian version of Jack Black asked me what went wrong today, and I decided to blame my team because that seemed like the worst of the two decisions. Coach told me here that by the end of practice, he's going to be choosing the starter for the rest of the season. A really good sign here for Helen Keller that he can probably get out of the league soon and back to making signs with his hands. In practice, I did the bare minimum by completing one of the five goals at hand. And then the assistant GM called me into his office and told me that they were going to be releasing me from my team. To which, I got upset. At least his team has a part of me better rather than making me run through a gauntlet. That's a call to be a, a good luck. Finally, I returned back to Reggie Brown, and I was given the option to retire from the NFL. So I went ahead and did that. Reggie's probably thinking he has the wrong guy for the interview at this point, considering I did nothing in the league. I was given one more opportunity to increase my scrambler. As you can see, that was all I was paying attention to throughout my whole NFL career. Don't know why I can do this after my retirement. Kind of too late for that. Now, at the end of my career here, I'm at the scoreboard dedication ceremony at the School for the Deaf, Blind, and or Transgen. I'm meeting here with my former agent, and for some reason she thinks she's a Hall of Fame agent. She must have had some other clients. Probably took me in as a charity case. Still looking as disformed as ever. Love to see it. What's up, jabroni? I met this old doucheburger once again named Tommy. He probably had a pretty good NFL career, so we're probably just here for him and his heart. They gave us some big, dull, boring speech, which I pretty much wasn't paying attention to. Instead, I was just staring at the faces Helen Keller was making. And here we are, awarded with the Home of the Heartbreak Kid scoreboard. Still really drawing attention to Tommy's heart. Kind of a low blow. Don't know who I'm waving at. I didn't do anything. I don't think anyone here knows my name. The agent here is getting a little too touchy. Kind of just pat her on the boob there. Probably going to go to prison after this. The time has come for Helen Keller to put the playbook down for the last time and move to the next chapter in his life. Better watch your pronouns there, bud. And here we are at the final scene. Congratulations, Helen. You were drafted late and you never evolved into the superstar or the legend, but you worked hard every day of your eight-year career. No, I didn't. The fans won't remember your name, but they'll remember the passion and grit you, you brought into every single game. Awesome. I did nothing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll get back to 2K soon. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to try out Madden for a while. It's pretty fun, but 2K is probably still, sadly, my favorite game. But I do know, for one thing, I love playing games incorrectly. Make sure to go leave some hateful comments down below. Go poop on the floor of a public restroom for me. And subscribe or go put on some hemorrhoid cream. I'll see you guys next time.